Hi, I'm from uh, Harmony Public Schools. So I'm gonna blow 30 sec for 30 seconds into this bottle. And then we'll blow it to the other bottle for about 30 seconds too. And then you close one of them up and the second one you get a couple of leaves of uh, spinach. Put it into the bottle. Just get some leaves. Put it in there. Yep. Okay, and then you close, oh, you blow for 30 seconds again into the bottle with spinach. And then you close it. And now we're gonna put them under a lamp, which is going to be a model, like it's sunlight, for about an hour. Okay, so after, it's been an hour since we fluffed it under this lamp. And now, we're going to take the one with the old top. We're going to take uh, the one without spinach and open it. And we're going to blow again for, for 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to blow the 15 milliliters of limestone into the bottle. Close it and then you shake it. Okay. Then you take the second bottle, you open it. Whoa. And then you blow again for 30 seconds. And on this one, you're going to pull the other 15 milliliters of limestone into the bottle. And you, once you put the 15 milliliters inside the one with the spinach, you shake it, and then you're done. Now, so since this is a process is in which plants, some bacteria, and some proteins um, make sugar. And um, the raw materials of photosynthesis is when sunlight, water, and carbon, di carbon dioxide come together and they combine, and they make glucose and oxygen. And so now, we're going to take um, the one without spinach and pour it into a clear container. And you'll notice that it has now become a milky solution because um, of the carbon dioxide. And on this one, the spinach absorbed the carbon dioxide. This one is um, much clearer than this one since it uh, created oxygen and this one absorbed the uh, oxygen and created carbon dioxide. Oh, thank you very much for watching my video. Hope you liked it.